few of us arrived early. It was a few minutes our time, but on Earth time, it was a hundred years too early. They came in out of the sky, and man, were they greeted. What happened to them after that, I don't know. But it wasn't all great on this planet. You got homesick and desperate. One of us tried to commit suicide. He was spared. Our great, 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 great grandfathers were fine scientists, but the journey was long and boring. And when we got here, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years later, those of us who arrived here just sucked. I came in with the third group, and we had a lot of big plans. We knew we had to make a big impression, so we decided to build this capital city, one that would rival D.C. This, this, this looked great because two train lines converge right here. Over here, we built this to be the mall, the main shopping center, and over here was to be the Supreme Court, and over here was to be Congress. And down there, the Pentagon, and way, way, way at the end there was the great Andromeda Memorial. But the whole thing sucked. Nobody came, nobody settled, nobody shopped. You see aliens as these technologically advanced super beings who destroy New York City in two minutes flat. Well, I hate to say this, but we aliens all suck. Look. We're failures. <laughs> We're just failures. This whole thing makes me sad. It really makes me sad. Our only success story was a man who used his knowledge of the sky and flying machines. He became chairman of the strategic planning committee at the Pentagon. In that respect, it might be said that aviation itself has served part in the result of the World War I conflict. 
However, it did prove itself. That is, it, it was easy to recognize that with proper equipment, at another later time, aviation might become a real instrument of military warfare. First, I thought I was going places as I was accepted into the CIA, but I found nothing there but a bunch of people only interested in their careers. I never got promoted. I kept trying to tell them that I knew some things, that I knew quite some things, but they wouldn't listen, and that made me very angry. So now, I stand before you ready to tell all. I was involved in the Roswell recovery. When that thing landed 50 years ago, they didn't know what it was, so they stashed it in some silo underground, and they kept lying that it was just some media invention. Now comes this. 50 years later, they dig it up, and they decide, with the help of advanced technology, that they're going to take another look. That was a big mistake. They should not have done that. From the start, that convoy had a very ominous feel to it. 